Make a bench. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, if I can ask you to raise your hand for the microphone, um, we'll take questions in English first, and then we'll do the one in Spanish on the way through, if that's okay. Good afternoon, Pep. Hi. Um, Pep, given the way that Atletico Madrid play, um, you know how compact and organised they are, you know how competitive they are. Is this the most difficult tie that you could have faced at this stage, do you feel? Every opponent is, uh, is tough in these stages. Every team has his own particular way to, to play and understand a game. You have to adapt and adjust and overthink uh, what you have to do. Your fixture list, of course, is Atletico, Liverpool, Atletico, Liverpool. Bernardo Silva has just told us that he feels the pressure is a nice pressure, that it means you're in, in it to win it. Is that what you see from this group, a group of players that are enjoying, relishing the challenge? Absolutely. If you would not play these type of games, we will be out of competitions. And uh, uh, it's a joy, a pleasure to be here every season. When we arrive in these stages, I said last time, April, May, and um, and we are in fighting for the titles is because we are we have done it really well so far. So, but we know that it's the same like in Burnley last day last game. So, bad results right now. It's you are out of the competitions. Um, hi, Pep. Uh, you've been managing at the top at the same time as Simeone for the last ten years, but you've not played against each other very often. What is your observation about his management style and about what he is is like? Well, very often because we don't play in the same country uh, and in Champions League uh, yeah, just once. Uh, the results the I think after watching Atletico Madrid there are a mis misconception wrong, wrong conception about the way he played. So it's more of offensive that the people could believe. Uh, he doesn't want to take a risk in the build-up, but after they have quality to play and they play really well in the final third. So they don't want to take risk, but when the ball is in our halfway, <laughs> I'm not going to name the quality of the players they have and uh, how competitive they are. Exactly, They know exactly, it depends on the position of the ball, it depends on the moment of the game, they know exactly the way they have to play this exact moment. It depends on the ball are and the ball it is and 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 the moment of the game, winning, losing, last minutes, early minutes, beginning of the second half. And the, in these kind of situations, they are really good. Really, really good. So you don't see it as a lot of people would do, which is Pep plays brilliant football and Simeone plays terrible football and it's I'm not going to talk like one second about these stupid debates. No one second. So everyone try to win the games, and if if they win, they will be the right. And if I win, we win, we will be right. So uh, in in one game, in one style, there are many, many, many things. And basically, for the quality of the players, he doesn't play. I will not play. So the difference will be there. But this is start to say. Honestly, no one second. Hi, Pep. Um, I think you just used the words overthink. Is it possible? Is that a, a challenge, you know, not to overthink no, a, a game Champions like this? No, in Champions League, always I overthink. Always create new new tactics, new ideas, and tomorrow we will see a new one. Yeah. So, so you're obviously being, in English we say wry or dry. You, you think that's a, an unfair criticism of you then, that you can sometimes overthink in this competition? I overthink a lot. And is that fair? Absolutely. That's why I had very good results in Champions League. Uh, I love, it would be boring my job if all the time I had to see the same way against opponents, they face different ways to play. So if the people can believe I'm going to approach or to play the same way Atletico Madrid and Liverpool is because I don't like, I'm not thinking about that because the movements from Liverpool are completely different than 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 the Atletico Madrid, especially because the players are different. Every player has a mother and father, you know? And the mother and father have a different personalities, a different type of players. And I have to adapt and adjust. That's why I love to overthink and create stupid tactics again 
to after that when neither win been punished. So this is the reason why. And tomorrow I'm going to tonight I take an inspiration and I'm going to do an incredible tactics tomorrow. So we play with twelve tomorrow. <laughs> <You know. laughs> um, um just Bernardo just spoke about the importance of experience tomorrow night. Um Atletico are renowned for pushing the boundaries when it comes to the rules of the game, you know, uh, surrounding the referee, you know, what we call the dark arts. Um, how calm do your players have to be tomorrow night to, to deal with that? And, and how aware do they have to be of that aspect of the we game? We have to do the same. We have to defend our position. This is part of the game. have to know exactly how do we play the minutes. So, Thumbton FA Cup, the last minutes of the first half, when we concede the goal, we play it terrible, horrible. So, football is... It's just a part, so I'm not going to judge one second what they do, analyze, read how you have to do to try to get a good result to go to Madrid next week. What is ugly? What is play ugly? I don't know what is playing ugly. So, also my team when in, in Old Trafford winning 1-0, 2-0, Bernardo Silva went the corner and spent four or five minutes in the corner. This is ugly? No, it's not ugly. Is be smart, is defend with the ball, go in the final third to, you know, to not consider counter attacks and defend our position. So, so that's all. So I'm here to talk about what we try to do. The players, I never judge the the opponents. Not this case. Not even I would say the best team that people can think. And I not judge. I say what they do, what they have to do, what they have tried to, you know, to do to win it. Hi, Pat. Hi. Um, you've had some very good moments in this competition with the away goals rule. You've had some not so good moments with it. How does it change your preparation for these two matches with it being scrapped? Yeah, we were out three times for away goals. Unfortunately, now it's changed. Yeah, now the influence is less. The fact that if they score is not a big issue, you know. We are going to play to win the game to make a high intense and rhythm and rhythm and create chances and in Madrid they're going to do the same. Uh, it's our way, we're going to have success, we're going to out in this way. So I am not think it's a new rule and of course the rules you have to adapt. And it's, it's different but all the time what we have done is try to play the game. You said unfortunately it was scrapped, would you have rather it stayed in the competition? Well, you know, when you are out because, uh, you know, they score away, you cannot score. And, you know, in 5-5 five, five and you are out because they score two goals and you score one. And and the same like, uh, you, know, you cannot score away, they score one goal. It's always, oh my God, it's, you know, it's a pity. But sometimes the coin come in your face and, and you are out for a goal difference. And now it's not a debate, it's... OK, try to play the game as best as possible. Hi, Pep. Um, you said that Atletico are more offensive than most people think. Is it good news for you? Is it, does it mean that you have more spaces than we think you will? Uh, I said, I think it's a team they want to don't lose risk or avoid risk in the, in the build-up in the central areas. They put the ball in the sides. In that ball, they are incredibly aggressive. And when they are able to win that ball and after they play, and we talk about the quality the players they have up front in the middle, they can do it. And so it's one game here, one game there. And it's a champion for Spanish league. Spanish league is now in the last decade or 20 years, is the country the more teams reach the finals and win the Champions League. And he's the champion of this that league that is so difficult. I have experience on that. It's so difficult to win. And they're the champion. And the people can like and I admire, you know, with the the consistency. So beat two, twice in, in this time to, to Barcelona Madrid that normally they control the league. And they were able to fight against them and reach two finals the Champions League. Uh, and losing for one detail, for one corner. It's like corner was over, it was extra time, another one for, for two extra times. And means that they know exactly how they handle local stages in these competitions. But in these stages, in the last eight best teams in Europe, right now, when I started in Barcelona, it was a little bit different. But now I had the feeling that 
All right, the last eight, all the teams are incredible, tough and good ones, really good ones. And you have faced Atletico Madrid, draw. You face another team, will be tough too. So it's not not issues. A football game. Give everything that we have, otherwise no chance. And and after Madrid will dictate who is better, the best to go to semifinals. Is it is it more enjoyable to play against a team like that than the ones that play for one ball? For uh, no, it's not about enjoyable. It's about is it this team? What they do? What they are as a team? What can do to beat them? The way we want to play and do it. So it's not it's not about it's not about uh, is this better or the other one is worse. It's what it is. The draw, okay, we were together. Atletico Madrid, okay, Atletico Madrid. Play another one, another one. Hi, Pep. Um, sorry, um, Hi. Bernardo was in before, and he said that that you had a plan to win tomorrow. But when it's a when you reach this stage of a competition and it's an intense game and you're playing against a quality opponent, how easy is it for a group of players to continually follow a plan instead of just having the whole game just turn into to chaos and you just best team wins kind of thing? Well, it surprised me a lot because Bernardo said we have a plan, but still we didn't speak about the plan. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't know, but anyway, I mean, he knows me, he have a plan, yeah, of course I have a plan in my mind. Um, but in this competition I learned that uh, the plan is important, but don't give a space, don't give an inch, and go, go to them and defend when you have to defend, attack when you can do it. And I trust a lot in this competition, the type of game, the personality, the quality, the courage, the... the the intelligent decisions you have to take inside it belongs belongs to the players. Uh, I put them out of pressure in this type of games. I tell them, outside guys, outside responsibility is in my shoulders. The managers all around the world is like this, but uh, don't put my responsibility tomorrow in my shoulders. You are the 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 guys that has to win or lose the game. So go out there and try to do it. Uh, and. They have done it many, many times, and hopefully tomorrow they can per we can perform well. Hi, Pep. Um, you've obviously been here with the City team a, a few years now. You've talked a lot about the team needing to suffer and know how to manage those bad moments. Have, do you think that they've improved in these big moments, the, the difficult like, moments? Uh, Sam, I would like to say yes. It seems like we have more experience, but w you can leave thousand million experience in your life, but uh, if you not take or you don't learn or do you, you don't take the good ones for this experience, it's like don't have experience. So I would say yes, but I don't know. Maybe we take a wrong decision tomorrow because it's a, football is an open game and so quick. And maybe we don't learn and we lose for that. Who knows it? So who knows it? So we tried. Yeah, we tried. I think the desire is there, like since day one, to try to do well and go through. We're going to try it. In two games, 81 minutes, tomorrow will not be decisive. We have another game to play. And yeah, we're going to try to travel to Madrid with the best result as possible. OK, so many questions in Spanish. If you could raise your hand now. <coughs> Hola, Pep. Hi Pep, how are you doing? Uh, you just said that you don't want to talk about the debate on style, but unfortunately I have to ask you about the style. A, f a while when you were played against Simeone, this debate opened because you said that athletic uh, style is not that of a, a big team. I just wanted to, to ask you about those declarations. No, I'm, I'm not here to respond, you know, opponents of Xavi or, or Simeone. Hi, Pep. I wanted to ask you about your players. Some say that they you're used to playing these types of games. That I wanted to ask you, what makes it different, apart from the players, obviously, who are different now? What could make the difference, or what is the difference when you play against Atletico Madrid? These types of games, when they play on the counter-attack, for example. Maybe I'm wrong, but what I've seen, Atletico don't, don't, don't close up at the back. Maybe they do during the game, but not, not from the beginning. And you can, you know, they, 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 they come for you. 
you know, they, they combine. If, if things work out well, they will, they'll, they'll drop back and maybe their forwards will come back into midfield and they'll work on their transition with Llorente, with Joao, with Griezmann, with these players that they have up, up top that can make an impact and De Paul as well who can run. But they don't, they don't close up. And if they can, they're going to press. You know, this is this this has been going on for a while. When I played against them, you know, when Barca, Luis Enrico played against them, you see that they're going to to press. And if you do the the process well, then you know you can beat them. But maybe I'm wrong. You know, you know them better. You see them every week. I, maybe I don't see this. I've seen various games because we've had an international break and we've had time to look at the way they play. Maybe I'm wrong. But my sensation, my feelings are those. You know them better. Hi, Pep. Atletico Madrid are in the... They, they've got to this stage without winning at home. Cholo said, technically, they could win. Do you think it's possible to win the game without winning at home? Is it more difficult to face Atletico Madrid as a team coming away from home? As a, an away team? Well... Now, now we're at home and then we'll be away. That's what you do when you play a knockout game of two legs. We know... Oh, I think I've never been. I would imagine, you know, that I've not been in the Wanda Stadium so far. I've, I've played at, you know, Vincente Calderon before, and I know it's a great atmosphere, and I suppose it will be when we go there. I think they play depending on the moments in the game. Sometimes they might press you or drop back. It depends on, on what's happening in the game. Or the result on how things are going. It depends on many, many things. And we're prepared for whatever might happen. You know, for example, we lost in Camp Nou before and, and, and things went differently when we went to the second game. You know, the, the centre-backs centre pushed up. You know, they would press Ter Stegen to, to stop him coming out. And then in other moments, they would be, you know, they defend with four or five, switching from three, five, two, different different formations. The wing-back would then come on to play in the, um, as a, as a full-back. You know, they're a very rich team in tactically in that sense. I've seen them. Okay, they do this, they do that. What are we going to do to try, to annoy them, let's say? That's what we're going to try and do tomorrow and, and next week is when we play them. I wanted to... The other day, I said, who is the most important player at City? And he said, no, the players are players, but the most important player at City is Guardiola. Who said this? My father. My father said this. Do you think... Give him, give, him, give him a hug. No, he's a Madrid, he's a Madrid fan. Yeah. Do you feel that, that Guardiola is a visionary in football? You know, looking at Luis Enrique, he's the influence there, and also influence on Xavi. Do you think the mo you are the most important person at City? But not just at City, but the most important person in football and it's Pep Guardiola and I, and I have to say this to my father I would like to I would like to say your father's right but but I didn't invent football I think you need to talk about Marti Pechanal a book who talks about the evolution of football you know and that was this comes in history so don't worry about that it, it, I'm sorry, but I've never, I've never scored. I've never, your father's never scored a goal or saved a penalty. You know, hopefully, I could be, you know, as important to save a penalty. But you know, I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a good manager. That's true. Chavi, Chavi said that that was right. What we did at Barcelona, what we tried to do in Bayern, Joan Cruyff did that. You know, other other managers. Other, in other periods of football. So, so I didn't invent anything. I try to adapt to the plays I've got and I like the, I like the way that my teams play. You know, I'm a spectator and I like to see my style reflected in those players in my teams. But... But, but this is about results and winning. You know, I'm, I'm a visionary when I win and when I lose. And when I lose, people think, what, what does this guy think he is? You know, I analyze my opponents and I say, let's go for them. Let's play this way because I think they defend or I think they attack. 
and we, we do what we do to give our best possibilities to win. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, my ideas are what I see within my players, but I wish. I wish I could give a step, you know, and make that step like I did in previous years. But I don't win the games, it's the players, and they did it to Barcelona, and in and Germany, and now where I'm here. This belongs to the players. The players. So, so, so here we're here. We're here, we're here to help them, and that's all. And we're just there for them. Hola, Pep. Um, Do you see a lot of difference between playing against a, a Premier League team that, you know, that don't have the, the game all the time and play Atletico Madrid? I know it's been a long time, but did you take anything from the semi-finals uh, in 2016? Because it's the same manager, Atletico, and some of, some of the similar players as well in that game. We're talking about 2016 and we're in 2022. That's six years. Nada. No, not at all. Nothing. We did. We had a good game there, and we, you know we lost, and we didn't get to the final then. And I, I say a game. If it's an English game, Spanish, Spanish league, it's 11 v 11. You know, fathers, mothers with their qualities, and we we try and make the difference. We try to know what they're like as a team, and that's it. We, you know, making comparisons in, in, in previous years when we lost, well, so tom to tomorrow will be different to in a game we play in the next week, and they'll be the same players, but it'll be a different game. I've tried to learn a lot from Atletico Madrid, what they do, what they are, what they're about, what they like to do, and we need to adapt in the best way possible to their qualities. And I hope we can impose our qualities a lot. It'll be very difficult. They've got a great ability to stop, make you not be what you are. And that's a merit. You have to give them credit to that. And it makes an added difficulty, and it gives you an added difficulty knowing that afterwards, according to what areas they are in the pitch, that depends on what they do, but they're very, very good at it. Thank you, Dan, thank you.